Alrighty, folks, we are here in the lovely Chico, California, staying at the Sierra Nevada Brewery. Got a duplex on site. Shout out Santa Claus and SNBC. And it is finally time, just about, for the season opener for Yakabass stop number one at Lake Orville. Done this tournament the past couple of years, and honestly, it's one of my favorite tournaments. Not necessarily because of the fishing, but because we're really close to the brewery. We got some amazing beers and some amazing food, so that in combination with the crew coming just makes for a really fun weekend. As I've been doing in the past couple of videos, just to give you guys a little time reference, I actually spent the last couple of days up at Lake Shasta, did some fishing there. It was okay. The second day was kind of nasty. Actually, yesterday, I packed up, I took off from Shasta, drove straight here to Chico, unloaded all my stuff in the house, got settled in, met Terrence, aka Beer Santa, at the brewery, which, again, is one of the coolest things about staying here. It's literally, I don't know, like 100 yards walking distance that way. Came back here, got a good night's rest, able to take a hot shower, dry my drenched clothes, and this morning, I got up really early, started working on some videos, just editing, doing stuff like that, ran some errands, and now, it is just about 5 o'clock, Terrence just got off of work, he just drop some beer off for us even though the fridge is already stocked i don't know how much beer we're gonna be going through this weekend i don't think it's gonna be that much you never know though so yeah it is thursday evening tournament saturday tomorrow will be pre-fish day but it also will be our traditional pre-tournament derby the tournament before the tournament where we have the coveted trophy up for grabs and rumor has it that there is a new trophy in store today's video is going to be the first half of this orville weekend tonight of course i guess vlogging or whatever you want to call it and then of course tomorrow the derby the pre-fish on Lake Orville. Either way, it is going to be an amazing weekend. I'm looking forward to it. We'll let everyone start pouring in, unloading their stuff. We'll head to the brewery and we'll get this weekend started. Trailer boy. It's the only way to fly, dude. What's up? How are you? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Yeah, it looks Pretty like my truck. Well. A bunch of stuff in the back. Just a bunch of crap. Hey, we're here. We're here. Are you excited? Hell yeah. Weren't we just at a tournament together? Yes. And we're just here now. Gnarly accident like 10 miles from here. Oh no, really? Yeah, so like, Ah, it sucks. <laughs> oh, you got the real hooks on there too? I doled them down. Someone's definitely it's gotta go on the house. Okay, official trophy. Dude, you made this? Yeah, I made it at lunch. Oh my god, this is heavy. This is like a Bassmaster classic trophy. Alright, we'll just unload your stuff. Come on. You feel like a real trophy. <laughs> this feels like a real. Classic. It's actually really heavy. Oh, yeah. We got a little baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> yeah, it came like that. I don't know why that's there. Which room are you in the first? No, I just took the middle room. That sounds like Terrence's walk. Terrence! What up? How are you? Looks like you're spending the night. I'm spending the night. Nice. Dude, it's such a commute to get here. It is? It's like two exits, about five miles. Oh, really? Yeah. See, that's too far. Sorry, man. I know. I'm glad you made it. Is that it right there? That's it. Shut up. Feel it. Feel how heavy it is. Damn. It's a real one. It's a big one. You ready to crush uh, up and catch some 12 inchers? Um, Terrence, you're the local. What's the report? Is Orville fishing good or is it going to be a grind? It was, uh, it was good to... Until yesterday? Like last week and the week before, before that cold front came in. Is that when immediately, whether it gets sold throughout the time or if it's just sold once, you're still a million. I, I will say the one... Who the hell is that? We're closed. Come on in. Mother Saga! <laughs> you don't even get to look at it. That thing's getting retired, bro. Oh, Jesus, look what you did. How are you? You lost one. How much? Good to see you, Dutch. Good to see you. How are you, friend? Dutch, look at this. Dutch, since you're closest oh, to the trophy. fridge. Oh, new trophy. Since you're closer to the fridge. Do I get to take that home tomorrow? I don't know what we're doing. We're, yeah. Since we're all four here, we should probably talk about so it. So we've actually decided, we're not sure what we're going to do with this one. because I think we retire. should retire it for whoever wins tomorrow. It goes home with them forever. But we all sign it and but retire it. I think we gotta wait till Alden and Bam are here at least. Yeah, but is that ever gonna happen? I'm gonna Dutch are in the high chair. Do go gaga Dutcher. Do go gaga <laughs> There's not many of us, so it's easy to get it's the frame. It's been this way. Uh -huh. Oh my oh. god, Dutch, you grabbed the can that I brought to Shasta. Like, I brought like a 12 The pack. only 12 ounce can ever made. They're like cooled and like not. Oh, camp beer, the worst. Alright, we all made it. 
Woo! Cheers. A little detour, but we're here. Yeah, coach made it. He finished. I didn't, I didn't have far to go. Home lake advantage, I guess. Huge parking Not lot. really. I haven't fished on this lake in four <laughs> months. So that's still better. Last time we were here was a year ago. That's so true. you're still cheating. Well, finally arrived, and I already kind of prefaced this, but it is a big weekend. One of my favorite weekends of the year. The Lake Orville Tournament it just happens to be the Yakabass season opener. Stop number one of 2024. Thank you, Terrence. Huge shout out. Thank you, Terrence. Thank you, Sierra, for Thank uh, you, Sierra. Uh, yes, thank you very this, much. This weekend. No, we all made it. This is the crew. This weekend, we've got uh, some exciting fishing to be had. Tomorrow is our pre-tournament derby, and pre-tournament derby for you guys that don't know is the derby before the derby it's also referred as the derby of champions the derby. most important derby the most important yeah. one ever so doesn't always pay well but you know so I, worst payouts yeah. pretty much in the industry the bragging rights are through the roof oh yeah usually we have alden explain the rules but let's uh you know what let's change it up let's go dutcher derby rules like what do we usually do for the derby usually usually it's three as long as three fish Just or it's the one biggest fish generally i think we so, should do three i don't like we'll do three what i was thinking on the way over here. Change it up a little bit. Well, that's new for you. Your brain work? Well, I had nothing else to do on the ground. <laughs> Tell well, me I was more. thinking we should do fastest to a limit. Huh. Oh, so you take it, take an identifier and sharpie, and every time you catch a fish, you, know, you take your picture, you write the time down, and then on the back, on your fifth fish, fifth keeper. That would be different. I was, I I was like, yeah, that's idea. something different. That's a different idea. First to five. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Are we optimistic that five fish limits are capable tomorrow? I am. Or about I, this time of year? That might be tough. And it kind of depends on tonight and how early we get out <laughs> tomorrow. That, that's going to be the hard part. I've heard the bite is really tough right now. People aren't necessarily catching limits. I'm defeated. I, I would think there's limits out there. That cold front came in and kind of screwed everything. But why don't we adjust it from five fish to three fish just because of conditions? That doesn't really, show how okay. good of anglers we truly are. This is my opinion. I think we should table this because I think it's a great idea. I just don't, I don't think anyone's going to maybe catch a limit tomorrow. All right, Dude, so I think this should be the contributing factors is that it's a five fish limit. And then we hold our cards just like poker. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got a limit? Sweet. Let's see your hand. Boom. I got an 11, 12, whatever. All right, wait, let's compromise. Yeah. Let's compromise. We'll do that. Those standards, but let's do three. Three fish limit. Okay. Timestamp. Timestamp. No, no. Timestamp. Time it doesn't matter. Three fish total. No, what about the timestamp? No, I think Terrence will table it. We'll go to yep. another day. I thought it was okay. Fun. So what I are mean, we doing? We, all right, three fish, longest three fish. Doesn't matter what time. That's just what we always do. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Why don't we add the timestamp? I like that. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let's just put it this way. You want to get really weird and wacky? The first one that catches a three fish limit gets an extra. Where are we Three going already? Oh. I like this idea. It's like Texas Hold'em or no peaky. No peaky. I like that. I think that makes sense. Yeah. First person to catch three keepers, 12 inches or above, gets an additional three inches on their total. Yeah. yeah. So we're not exactly sure what the final say it. What's going on with the GoPro? GoPro issues. So we're not we're not exactly sure what we're gonna do with the so-called retired trophy now that we have a new one for 2024. I think that needs to be a group vote. Everyone has to be here. Will that ever yeah. happen this year? I don't know. So I have little gift bag or goodie bags for everyone, camera bags. Are we gonna try to function the cameras Let's do correctly? It. Yeah. Let's do it. We'll try. Do it. I'm super good at tech. <laughs> A plus on camera work, C minus. I got an F at the last one. Yeah, you got I'm gonna win tomorrow. No, you know I'm, not right? gonna, I'm, I'm going D minus. Yeah. I'm going D minus. Well, guys, I'm excited for this weekend. We got the Derby tomorrow, Yakabass opener on Saturday. I think it's time probably to head over to the brew pub, get some beers, get some dinner. Yeah. yeah. Good luck to you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Good luck, fellas. Yeah. Here we go.
but I don't know. Never know. You gonna knock him dead today? Well, hopefully find something. Something? Something. There's fish in here. Oh, I've heard. No motor, no graph. Oh, you didn't bring your battery? Huh? No graph. Uh-uh. My graph's in the tote with the hand control. Craig, will you bring your graph over here so I can see if this transducer's working? Look. Look at that. Give me that. I gotta pick that up. Dude, look at that thing. That's a pond schmelt. Is that what they have in here? Every lake it's full of spots has this tiny thing. Dude, this could be a hint. Yeah, that's a pond schmelt. Same thing with that. Um, let me see your graph real quick. 21 feet. Interesting. It's working. That is just like the color of the smelt. Let me get a quick video of that. No, 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 don't do that. Please don't do that. Holding your hand. Dude, what? Seriously? Look what just came out of my mouth. Hold it. That's gross. Come on, dude. It's just a fish. What you got going on? A little morning? protein in the morning? Oh! Nothing. It's going to live there. Keep him there for tournament time. Why has got live bait? <laughs> Santa's going for that quick limit. He wants those three inches. Caught a lot on that shoreline right there. Two o'clock, is that what we said? Okay. So I'm gonna go that way so the wind can help blow me back. Oh, that's good. Okay. Took the tote out of my truck this morning. Had my throttle in it for my motor. Had my draft in it. So we're going old school today. No graph, no motor. We're still gonna wreck them. Fishing here. Uh, that was a decent little run. I'm sure the, the fellows are already fishing. I need to make some casts. Maybe try to get that bonus three fish limit. Get the extra three inches. It's probably gonna go a long way. I'm gonna make a prediction that the person that gets the first three fish, timestamp of course, I think that's gonna be the deciding factor. Orville is known for a lot of cookie cutter fish, spotted bass, 12 to 15 inches. So you bump up another three inches, unless you have a real tank, that could be a, a big deal. Contact. Understand. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got a scoreable.
you barely gonna keep it. Shut your mouth, friend. Jesus, you won't shut his mouth. Number one at 10 o'clock. It's a start. There we go. Number two, dose. Go. Oh. Hello? What's up, man? Nothing, you? Not a bite. Same here. What's the water temp out there? Uh, it's 50. So it hasn't gone up any further out you go? No, it's the same. Are you with Mike and Terrence, or? Uh, no, Mike and Terrence went up the river. I'm, I'm pretty close to the bridge. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go up to the bridge and fish. There's some big rock wall down there. I can see him. I'm gonna go fish that, and then... I don't know, what am I gonna do? Fishing big rock wall, and I haven't got a bite, so I don't know why I keep doing it. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Goodbye. Must be losing service. Well, it might be a tough bite. I don't know. I think it's going to come down to knowing where to look for him. I'm making my way into this pocket right here, this creek arm off the main channel. It goes way back there, so it'd be lovely if they're stacked up in the backs of creeks and stuff like that. Places like this, I think the key is just finding that area, the general areas these fish are relating to, whether it's main lake points, pockets, secondary points, finding that magical depth or that depth they seem to be hanging out in, because that's usually reproducible throughout the entire lake. Oh, head shaker, 13 incher. Come on in here, buddy. Damn, this one's fat, dude. Uh, just a little, yeah, I put one and just screwed it in there. Dude, look how fat this little guy is. Getting your catch board out is a nightmare every time. No, this one's pretty good. It's about two pounds, 13 inches. <laughs> right there in front. It's in a weird spot, but. Dude, this phone sucks. He wants to leave. Oh, he's 14 quarter a minute ago. Uh, I've been throwing green pumpkin and a bait like a shag color. Bloody lip. bite too. I'm gonna put one on the board. Little fella. Is he 12 inches? I think it's barely 12. That one is it's gonna be close. Oh my god he's not. What the wait is he? No he's not. Son of a gun. He's got friends though. Definitely got some friends. I have to finally get a bite though. Jeez. Well, maybe we found the right color. Switched over to Gobiashi. It's another bait fish color. It's got a little bit more purple and blue to it. Oh, that one. There's some little ones back here. Another point. Oh, that'll keep. I believe that'll keep. Well, nothing to brag about, but can at least put that on the board. He's got friends too. All right.
righty. First keeper. <laughs> Junker. What's up? Hey. Catching them or what? Yeah. What? What about you? I have not had a single bite. Really? Yeah. Uh, I'm not too far from the ramp now. I started working my way back. Have you fished a drop shot or a jig where it's like gray rock? Yeah, big rock? Yeah. Yeah, I've been trying. That's what I've been fishing, but I've been fishing in Kitek. And uh, I have no idea. I've been starting on the bank, and then I turn around and throw it out deep. I don't know. Uh, we're catching them in like probably 15 feet. Uh, yeah. Through the past show, it says mine. Yeah, well. Not today. My guy, buddy, today. No, I, I think he went way out there. Yeah, I'm about over this myself. I'm not feeling it. What's the water temp up there? It's 72 degrees. Mm. All right, see ya. Is there any like 18 inch fish in this lake? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this one might be 18, dude. This <laughs> is kidding. Oh, this could be it. That's good. It's 16. Yeah. Yep. He had a 13. Quarter to number two. Look at this giant donkey here. Look at down his neck. Look at down there. Dude, my kitex are just getting smoked. Dude, they're getting ripped to pieces. One fish per kitex. That's like a dollar fifty. I don't even have enough. We're gonna have to go to the store. How big was that one, Terrence? Uh, and a half. Jeez, dude, you're gonna win. I can't get over fourteen and a quarter. Oh, thought I had one. It's just a rock. A rock. Between a rock and a hard place. It's ridiculous how much money we spend doing this, huh? Nothing but swim baits. Little tiny kydex. Okay, we'll eat worms too. Drop shots. I think Dutcher sucks. Dutcher's the worst fisherman there is. <laughs> trees back here too and I was just about to leave this one feels better I need some better quality because word on the street is Santa was the first to a limit uh, that's a big one that's the right kind right there that's the right kind there we go okay well I can pick one more of you off that size. I might have to consider it. Coming back here, this is quite the run though from where we launched. Well, it's not even that big actually. Yeah, we'll take him. Oh shoot. Yeah. I bet you we catch him on this one, but not on this one. How much you want to bet? Come on. Come on over. See my little underspin I make? Oh, nice. I just pre-do all the blades and you could screw them into anything. Ooh. It's way cheaper. And buying those things for like six bucks a head. And I lose them a lot. I don't use auto range. I turn that off. And then I just... 
just manually do it. So if you go to sonar, I'll just copy. So you want just to get barely any dots like that, and you're gonna pick up way more fish. Okay. I don't like it when I'm right over their head. I think I have to make the cast. Oh, it's a fatty. Largemouth, I think. Is that a largemouth? This should be bonus inches right here. Oh, a fat one. Oh, a fat one. I thought it was a largemouth. When you try to jump, oh, there's some fish there. Let me mark them. That's a good one. Not a bad one at all. There you go. There's a fat one. Subtle bite. Real subtle. <sighs> Sorry, right. Got some weight to him. I think that might call our 13 incher though. Actually, no, it won't. No, it won't. <sighs> Uh, of course, the one area that seems to be the most productive is like the furthest from the ramp. <laughs> the weather is going to be pretty, I don't want to say sketchy tomorrow. 100% chance of rain, but the wind is going to be gusting up to, I think, 25, 30 by noon. So depending on the direction, this could be a little bit of a suspect run. I think I need to cull that 13 with another 15 or so to give myself a chance at the Derby Trophy. I'm telling you, those extra three inches from Terrence, assuming he has the uh, first limit, it's going to go a long way. Dude, it's weird. They're just not on these steeper banks. I haven't caught one on a steep bank today, have you? No. Isn't that crazy how loud that waterfall is over here now? You can hear that waterfall so good here, but you couldn't hear it over there. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I just got these. I had to throw it and see what it seems like. You know how many topwater baits I go through in a year that I don't like? That's a good one. I'm keeping these. That's great. I'm glad I tried it. Fish are not eating. I mean, look, look at them all over the graph. They're just hard to trick. Feels like another fat one, though. Come on, be a 15 incher. If it's 15 inches, I might be thinking about this spot tomorrow. It's risky. Hey, another fat one. Not quite 15, but it'll call that 13, I think. 13 and a half. 13 and a half. Where are you? Thirteen and a half. Man, there's a bunch of them down there. It's so surprising that, you know, there are that many fish down there. They're that finicky. Look at that. That is just wild. I mean, you can see what we're on right here. It's pretty obvious. This long tapering point. There's fish stacked all up on it. That's where I caught the other two. You know, there's probably some good ones down there, but it's hard to say. One more fish. I mean, I can't beat this up too much. I actually am going to come back here tomorrow. I cannot believe a drop shot is the only thing they're going to bite. You can tell they're fat, though. The way they're fighting. <laughs> it's got those big old bellies. And this spot has them. Is it worth it tomorrow, though? Yashi. Well, we found a bait and a color. The location, depth doesn't matter too much. It's really just all up on this point. I still haven't caught another good one though, meaning 15 inches plus. That's the only thing that's concerning me. Two o'clock on the dot. Got him. Little guy. Oh. Oh. I know. We're not in fishing shape yet. Camera actually work? <laughs> oh, 
I never even turned it off when I peed. I just put my life jacket over it. There's absolutely nothing on there for you to show anybody, so it doesn't matter. Terrence just wasn't working either. Well, I didn't have to charge my battery. I got a favor to ask you this. What? We just do the outro right now. No more jacket. Which one are you sitting there? I'm sitting this one. What's going on? Santa, I want a new, I want a bicycle. That's where you got your phone ready? <laughs> you got your phones? You got your scores? I, I, yeah. I used to always spin them for them. Ooh, shush. Don't be looking. If you're looking, she ain't cooking. Really? Yeah. That's a cool tip. We haven't talked. What, what are you that? looking at fish for? Oh my god, he lied to us the whole time. He broke like a fat sack on one point and got off the water. <laughs> he was just putting on his act like he didn't catch anything. Is that what you did, coach? You find the winning fish and get off the water early? Ah! Uh, whoa! That's a good picture, huh? That's pretty good. You guys ready? Just calm down. Yeah, you got, all he's gotta win this guy, dude. <laughs> what are you talking about? I never win. I never win because sometimes at the end of the oh, tournament, oh, oh. the last five minutes, I call out everything. Did I not? I can't pop four fish. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. okay. You ready? All right. Okay. Yep. All right. Let's just start. And this side of the table. Coach, your day. Tell us what happened. Well, what didn't happen is... Debbie Downer. I didn't catch any fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Sorry. <laughs> Jeez. Didn't even get a bite. Well, you, <laughs> you started off the day bad. You forgot your motor and your graph. You went super old school. Yeah. No fish finder, no it's motor. Fine. No fish yeah. finder, no motor. Uh, basically kayak fishing like six That's the way it's ago. supposed to be. Yeah. On the positive side, maybe this was meant to be you get all your bad fortune out of the way before tournament day. Yeah. Or yeah. maybe yes. I just stay here tomorrow and post all my stuff for sale on Facebook. Nah. Loser lot, 800 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> uh, oh, it's coming out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike, you want to go? How'd you do today? I had fun. I thought it was a struggle. It wasn't easy. No. I think I caught like... Well, go through each one of your fish. Seven. You got th you caught seven keepers? Well, I wouldn't say they're keepers. I can tell you what I have. Tell us what you have and also maybe the time of your limit. I can do that. Final fish was 14... Two five, fourteen, two five, and fourteen. Time on my limit, I believe it was eleven twenty eight. Three fish at eleven twenty eight. That's forty two point five. Yep, forty two point five. Not bad. Not bad at all. Don't treat me. Not good. <laughs> not, not don't good. you patronize me. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> that like is that. good. Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Uh, Santa Ooh. Claus went uh, first fish thirteen seven five. And the second fish I caught was thirteen seven five. And then I caught a four, fourteen seven five at this is gonna be close. 10.36. So 10.36 was your limit? was my limit. Okay. And then I called. Oh no. I mean, he was all excited. Oh uh, no. Let me get the calculator out. All right, what is, so what's your- I called with a 14 and a half. Uh oh. Somebody's in trouble. So what's that? So that mean? gives him a grand total of 43 inches. Oh my God. All right, to get the suspense over with, I did not catch my limit before him. Okay, so, so he has 46 inches. He has 46. So you have to beat 46. All right. Can you tell? I don't know. It's just... Oh, that's a big one right yeah, there, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my day was just like you guys. Tough. Saw him on the graph, anywhere from 15 to 25 foot. It's kind of like Shasta. I'd see him on the graph, I'd drop down on him. They would just, they wouldn't bite. I had to get off of him. I couldn't just be over him. I'd have to get off the spot where I graphed him, cast onto him with a drop shot. I tried a ton of stuff, but the only thing they need was a drop shot, dead sticking it, and I had to be far away from him. But my best three, coach, you ready? Yeah. So the first one I caught that will be scoreable. Oh. It's a 15. Whoa, oh, that's a giant. Oh, 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 oh. Fish number two, 15 and a half. Oh. oh, bro! Wait, is that even today? He's gonna have a is that even today? He's got think short so. sleeves like on. Yeah. <laughs> you got 30, thirty and a half. So I need a fifteen and a half to tie, and I probably win the big Yeah, push. fifteen and a half. He's gonna have a thirteen. Oh, there's a creek. Thirteen. Thirteen and a half. Oh. Woo! Santa! 44 inches! <laughs> He's Santa back-to-back -back derby winner. So, so the three-inch got me the win. 
but the first that's 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 rules. That's All right, that's okay. part of the I can game. make rules stick to them. I like that rule. That's I, a think good it, uh, I think it was a good. good yeah, it's uh, fun. It's still different. Yeah, so really, you only had you beat me by a half inch. Yeah, but he would have beat he would have beat both of you because you have more inches. But because of the bonus, Terrence wins. I think this is your year, Terrence. Dude, you're Santa. I don't know. You're the first one. I made it, Mike. You do the handoff. You do the handoff. You get the honors. First signature. First Terrence signature. Sullivan. Damn. 2024 yeah. Lake Orville. Holy wow. classic. Amazing. Yeah. I'm going to display this proudly. Hey, but you know, next right. derby. not that anyone's counting, but we fished two tournaments this year, and you've won both of them this year. Out of four. You're the Santa. You're the reindeer. Rudolph. Watch out. All right. Fun derby, guys. But we got a bigger tournament tomorrow. We've got Yakabass on Orville. 111 is, I think, the last I saw. Wow. That's the derby video. But, uh, I want to say something before we get out of here. It is February 16th. We've got to shout out all the wives and girlfriends for letting yes. us come out and participate this weekend instead of staying home, doing what we should be doing. What, what's that? But Whoa, 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 what's this? Just I got some, some special treats for my very special Valentines that are here with us today. Oh my god. This one's yes. for Greg. Perfect. Oh. This one's for Sandy. Oh. Michael, he gets a beef stick. Oh, nice. Thanks. Let me out. Thank you. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, Say oh, nice. oh, oh, got, he's got more, I think. Maybe. Maybe he has more. Oh, this is when you were at Walmart. Yeah, <laughs> Walmart. Now, since Michael, he's just the greatest thing ever and the sweetest man ever, so he gets. Oh my god! He gets the crab. A hermit crab! Thanks, Dutch! <laughs> that should be the trophy right there. It's my buddy Hermie. You got a sleeping partner tonight. Yeah. Thanks, Dutch. Yeah. Wow. A really sweet Valentine's. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Cheers everybody. Santa, Santa, Santa. 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 Santa.